Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, will you please take your seats? This program will begin. Please make your way in and take your seats. Thank you. Hello. I decided to jump on a live to share a few things this Friday to get you thinking over the weekend. Right. I'm going to imagine this. There are stakeholders in your life. They are stakeholders because decisions they make affect your life. So imagine there are stakeholders in your life having a conversation. They're figuring out who the best person is for an opportunity, for a new role, to head something up, right? And you happen to be the best possible person because it is the perfect fit for you. Here's the question. Does your name come up? Be honest. Sit with yourself over this weekend and think, does your name come up? And if the answer is no, do these three things to change that. If the answer is yes, do these three things as well to make sure that it comes up for the right reasons and for the right opportunities. So what are these three things? Here we go. Okay. Every time I train and work with somebody and get them to think about the three words that they want people to to associate with them. So your name equals what? what? What three words do you want people to attach to you, to think of when they see your name, when they see you in the corridor, when they catch a glimpse of you somewhere? What are they? And you know what the first word is all the time? The first word is this word. Everybody says that they want to be trusted. They want their colleagues, their bosses, their industry, their clients, to know that they can be trusted. Well, here's a question for you. Do you know anyone who doesn't want to be tr trusted? Is there any company, client, colleague who says, I don't want to be trusted? No. My point is, trust, that's not what you say. That's what they th think. All right? What I want you to do is to drill down to the next layer. The next layer is, why should they trust you? So it's about the Going to the next layer and saying why. All right, so I'll give you an example. Let's talk about me, why not? What I hope is that you trust me. And my, I figure out that you trust me if you know that I have credibility. So decades on global TV, on stages across the world, chairing, moderating, teaching people how to communicate with impact and influence, people at the top of their game. And so that's one thing, track record, credibility, another thing and that I create systems because I'm all about being practical and how do I do it? So I pass on the systems and the toolbox so that you can do this too, right? That's what builds your trust in me because you know, ah, she does this, she's been doing it for all this time, she's been doing it with these sorts of people and these are the sorts of results that her clients have. So that would be something else that I would share, all right? Uh, this morning, I had a session with a client, and his big three things were, of course, the first word was trust, but it's about drilling down to the next layer. And the next layer was knowledge. He knows what he's talking about. He's an expert in his field. It's about, again, credibility and track record. So he's got huge credibility with things that he's done in the past. And his team, he has a brilliant team. He is a nurturing person. He passes on. He's generous with passing on what he knows, and how he does things, and his team can deliver, which is a, such an important thing in the industry that he's in. So his three key words are, I want you to know that you can trust me because I have credibility. I have a great track record in this specific thing. And I have a fabulous team that means we deliver. What about you? What three things in your life in your area, would you be able to bring to the fore and get people to attach to you? Yeah, think about that. Write them down. One, two, three. In my case, credibility track record, building systems because I am practical, passing on the how do I do it knowledge and getting brilliant results for my clients. Okay. Now, the next thing is, so the first thing is don't say trust, be trust. 
Number two, I want you to complete this sentence. And the sentence is, what I want you to know about me. What I want you to know about me is, I imagine <laughs> you have the opportunity to be on stage, sit next to somebody really important in your life, a stakeholder again, and have the guts to say something like, what I want you to know about me is, and say it. But what's the rest of the sentence? Most people haven't thought that through. They don't, they, they, they know what they're good at and they know how they fit in and what they do, but they haven't articulated it to themselves first and to anyone else. Don't be that person. Articulate it to yourself, share it with people. What I want you to, what I want you to know about me is, and complete the sentence. So it's going to be based on the three things that you have identified up here, right? That's gonna be the basis of what you want people to know about you. Maybe you're going to pad it out with examples that are specific to the situation that you're in that will pique the interest of the person you're speaking to, right? So it all comes back down to the root three words, the three keywords you want people to attach to you, and you create the, the next layer of information around the situation that you're in, who you're speaking with, what their pain point is, okay? Now, so what's the third thing? The third thing is this. Are you paying attention? This is really important. If anything that you're saying and putting out there, if your name can be swapped for somebody else's name and it still stands and is applicable, then you haven't done your job well enough. Now, I don't mean don't start doing this until you've got everything right. No, I want you to start thinking this and behaving it and putting it out there. But while you're doing that, think to yourself, hmm, is this unique to me? Is this something that really brings to the fore what I am all about, my unfair advantages, my way of doing things, my life trajectory and experiences? Because you're not the only person with your title. You're not the only person with your degree. You're not the only person in that specific industry, niche, thing. But what is it about you that you are the only person for? What is it? In my case, I am the only person I know who has my combination of things, which include masters in medical engineering, because I'm interested in the human condition, what makes us make certain decisions, how do we remember things, why do we remember things? And it has helped me be linear in my thinking, create systems that I've passed on to people for decades so that they can communicate with impact and influence. But I'm also a wild out of the box thinker too. So it's not just very linear. I've got that side of me as well. It's that combination, the combination of very linear with the out of the box and the ability to simplify complicated information, which is really what my whole life has been based on, whether it's the TV programs, whether it's chairing and moderating conferences, whether it's doing this sort of thing here. It's about whittling it down to very basic things, simplifying it and building back up again so that you can use it, so that you can benefit from it. So what, what is it about you that you do really well, that you have an unfair advantage in that maybe only you can do? What is it? Define that and again, bring that to the fore. So those are your three things. One, what are the three key words you want people to associate with you? Trust is not one of them. It's because of them that they trust you, all right? Complete the sentence. What I want you to know about me is, own it, own your brilliance, own your knowledge, own you, okay? And believe you and bring it up in your head, if not out there sharing it with people. And then people will, by default, start thinking, oh, yeah, you are the person for dot, 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 the thing that you're great at, yeah? Think to yourself, if I put myself out there, if I share what I'm doing, am I sharing things that are unique about the way I think, the way I approach things, about what I am all about? If it's generic, samey, bland vanilla, it doesn't work. OK, you're just one of many. You're just another option and choice. You don't want that for yourself. So go back full circle. There are stakeholders in your life. They're trying to figure out who the best person for this fantastic role opportunity thing is. And it's perfect for you. It's what you want now and next for yourself. Does your name come up? 
I hope this helps. Drop me a note. Send me a DM. Comment. Let me know what your biggest aha or takeaway from this is. And let me know if you realize it. Do you do it? See you next time. Bye.